Well, when it comes to making movie magic, probably no one does it better than an Oklahoman. In this week's Oklahoma Profile, our Perry Tully introduces us to Academy Award winner, Matthew Mungle. Look what your God has done And it was a really, a big surprise to me when we won the Academy Award for Bram Stoker's Dracula. And the Emmys were great too, because it's the same kind of thing, you know, that you did an exceptional job and this is what you are awarded for. But I really didn't get into it for winning awards. But that is what Mungle has done. Three Academy Award nominations, 11 Emmy nominations for his ability to transform actors into character. It's, it's a passion. It's, I mean, starting out at 12 years old, how can it not be a passion when I'm 48 here and I still love to do the art of makeup? That's what I really enjoy doing, is making, doing a makeup so that it really can, totally fools the audience. Like we, for Schindler's List, we had to take the eight principal women and basically make them look like they'd have their head shaped. And that's what really intrigues me. And it's just still, every job is so creative. It was in Atoka, Oklahoma, that Mungle's interest in movie makeup was sparked when he saw the Planet of the Apes movie. One of the eight movies came to town, and I was going to school with the with the um, the daughter of the owner of the local theater. Came to the theater door, knocked on the door. He was astounded by what I had done. You know, uh, gave me a sign, walked around the, the the town promoting the show. Matthew headed to Hollywood soon after high school, where he worked his way to the top. Of course. We have to do a lot of research in this business with the CSIs and the Navy and CIS and the gross, grotesque things that we do. Sometimes if it's, gro uh, if it's gratuitous violence, I'll just turn the project down because I'll just be too busy or something, you know, if it's, it's too bad. But I look at it, especially CSI, it's amazing how those people work and no matter what you do, you can't get away with it. And that's the bottom line I look at it. We ask Matthew about the vast amount of Oklahoma talent that seems to be such a major influence within the entertainment business. I, I find it in a lot of Midwest people, uh, you know, from the center of the United States, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, in that I have a lot of people that come out and work for me, and I find that their work values and ethics really stem from their upbringing on that. It's worth work ethic that I'm always looking at because I was instilled that by my father too. But yes, the work ethic I think really is, comes a lot from Oklahoma too. Young people come up and say, I want to be a producer, I want to be a director. Okay, what I say to them, you need to go through every aspect of this business before you come become a director and you promise me that you do that and you need to learn that besides learning how to do lighting working the camera you know d producing and doing a budget you know so there's a lot of things into this you know bottom line in humanity if you give give to people they're going to give back to you it may not be a hundred percent but they're going to give back to you you know so it doesn't hurt to be nice to people and, you know, not be a snob just because you're, you are who you are. Anybody can throw blood on something. Start out doing, doing regular makeup and creative makeup. And work your way, uh, learn how to do a ball cap. That's the art of makeup. What is changing for Matthew now that he is recognized as one of the best in the world? I think I'll, I'll end up just staying out in Hollywood as far as I know right now. I just love the business and that's where the business is. Finally, what do you think makes a farm boy from Oklahoma go on to become probably the best in the world at makeup effects? I think it really, I think it really came from my grandmother who was, um, uh, Ethie Mungle, who was so creative at photography agriculture, sewing, everything. She was so talented at her, whatever she did. And 
she just lived up the road from me, just literally, you know, 50 yards, wherever, when we were growing up there. So I, I give her a lot of credit on, not necessarily makeup, but just whatever you want to do creatively, you can do. It's been a great pleasure to feature Matthew Mungle and some of his work as a part of Oklahoma Horizon.